Hello everyone, welcome to Joe and Zach Survival. I was getting frustrated yesterday with the sap. I mean, we got up to, uh, it was 50 degrees or 51 degrees or so, but it was cloudy. And the night before though, it had only gotten down to 38. And I was really starting to worry. I had a really good day where I pulled over five gallons of sap. And then I had two days where I got nothing. But here now, yesterday, last night, it dropped down to about 18 degrees. And now it's still chilly out. It's only 38 degrees out. It's kind of windy today, but the sun is out. And look at how this has started. There was nothing coming out of this tree yesterday. We're going to go check out a few of the other taps that I have. And it's just amazing how much sap is running today. Another good thing to keep in mind if you're doing this for the first time is wherever the sun hits in the afternoon is the best place to put it. Because in this particular tree, this isn't even on the sunny side, but it's getting more sun here. And these were both emptied at the same time. And now this one is dripping over here, but this is on the shady side. And look at how much less sap I've got out of it. And this is the same tree. This tree here now isn't quite as thick. I get much more sap out of the bigger trees. But this one is dripping. This tree doesn't get a whole lot of sun, but it must have warmed up enough. We got a slow drip on this one. This one's going crazy here. It's only got about a half inch and I have to dump it or it's going to start leaking out of the hole. All those other trees that we looked at there were box elder and this is a maple. The maples still aren't running real hard yet. Those box elders started earlier than the maples. This one here is another maple. So is this one here. This is another maple. Now tonight it's supposed to drop down to 18, but instead of 38 tomorrow it's supposed to get up to 48, but not quite as sunny. But if we get a little bit of sun out, tomorrow is going to be a great day. Okay, this is the biggest box elder tree I have tapped. And you can see there's a left side is not the sunny side this afternoon, and the right side is. And look at the difference. Okay, so this is my biggest producing tree this year. Another box elder here. And yesterday, I mean, there was nothing. And right now, that one on the right has to be drained. And that left one will be another half hour. It'll be up there too. So anyway, if you're uh, tapping trees and you're getting frustrated because you're not getting any sap, uh, just wait till those nights drop down to a good hard freeze and the sun's out and it shoots up into the upper 30s and it'll start running again. Thanks a lot for watching the Jones Act Survival Channel.